Yellowstone National Park is an incredible winter destination with beautiful landscapes and extreme features. However, most of the roads within the park are covered in deep snow, requiring an over-snow vehicle. If you are planning a winter expedition into the park, then stay tuned to learn more about the differences between a snow coach and a snowmobile tour. Snowmobiling in Yellowstone is a great experience. I had a lot of fun driving a snowmobile within the park. However, there are pros and cons to going on a snowmobile tour. The exciting part is that you get to drive your own sled. During a tour, a guide will lead a train of about 10 snowmobiles from one destination to the next, driving 35 miles per hour. At every stop, your guide will provide information about the park or your location before continuing to the next feature. You don't need to have experience to drive a snowmobile. However, the success of the tour can depend on the success of other drivers. If your group has a patron who continues to wreck their sled, then the entire group will face the consequences of a disrupted schedule. As a snowmobiler, you must keep in mind that you are exposed to the elements, so bring extra layers. Luckily, the guiding companies also rent out gear to help you stay warm during your long expedition. Aside from that, the handlebars are also heated and your toes are also kept warm on the sled. Just keep in mind that the weather in Yellowstone can range from clear skies to a whiteout blizzard, which will affect your overall experience. One final tip for snowmobiling. Never leave your bags on the sled. Ravens are intelligent birds who know how to open up your packs. Leaving your bag on the snowmobile will result in missing items or stolen food. Snow coaching is another great opportunity for visiting Yellowstone National Park. Snow coaches come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. The type of snow coach varies among the companies. During a snow coach tour, the guide would drive the patrons around the park at 25 miles per hour while interpreting the park's natural and human history. If you wish to learn more about Yellowstone and communicate with the guide throughout the tour, then this is for you. The great thing about participating in a snow coach tour is that you are in a warm vehicle where you get to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Coaches are also capable of carrying more gear, which helps provide a luxurious expedition. When attending a snow coach tour, it is very important to bring winter boots, snow pants, and extra layers to help keep warm. You will take short hikes within the park, so if you didn't dress properly, then you'll have a miserable experience walking around hot springs in a cold, snowy afternoon. These are some of the differences between a snow coach and a snowmobile tour. Keep in mind that every company is different, so be sure to do your research to determine which route suits your interests. If you plan to visit the park multiple times, I recommend experimenting both types of tours so you can experience the best of both worlds. Overall, a Yellowstone Winter Expedition is a great experience. You get to see amazing features, learn cool facts, and have a fun adventure while exploring and discovering the beauty of nature. If you've been to Yellowstone during the winter, leave a comment below so viewers can learn more about others' experiences. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to Trekking with Trevor so you can join me on future expeditions as we explore and discover the beauty of nature.